This quaint English village might look like the perfect place for cream teas and picnics on the beach, but it harbours a deadly secret. The whole area is covered with dangerous patches of quicksand. When water floods into sand, it forces the sand particles apart, causing the ground to loosen. What's left is a soggy combination of the two that can no longer support as much weight. So when you stand on it, you start to sink. I want to find out if it's actually possible to get out of quicksand. And to do that, I'm going to have to get in it. But I'm not going anywhere around here without the help of the professionals. Hi, George. How are you doing? Hi, mate, John. Pleased to meet you. And you. How long have you been a Coast Guard in the area? 24 years. Right. But you, you're a proper expert in quicksand. You're, um, yeah, we are uh, number one around here for quicksand rescue, yeah. You're the right man to be in charge of this demonstration. Yeah, we'll look after you. All right, that's, that's good to hear. Do I need any special kits or anything? I don't think you do it like that. You might frighten the fish. I think we better go and get a suit on. <laughs> All right, <laughs> come on with me. To keep me dry and warm, I put on a totally watertight dry suit, normally worn by divers. Dry suit on and I was ready to go. But as I walked out across the bay, I started to feel a tad nervous about my impending descent into the unknown. All right, George, this looks like the right kind of stuff. Yeah. Shall I just, um, just, just step into it then? Have a go in that one. OK. Oh yeah. my. Oh, here we go. I'm trusting you. I'm not just going to disappear, though, am I? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Sink like a stone. You're not going to disappear. Right. I appear to be sinking. Oh, my goodness me. I was sinking fast, and my weight was pushing the water away from the sand, creating a vacuum around my legs and pulling me south. OK, I'm starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable about the whole situation now. I could feel the pressure of the sand against me, and as much as I tried, I just couldn't move my legs. I'm going to stop going down, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Before I knew it, I was in deep. It had only taken eight minutes for me to sink down to my waist. Why aren't there signs around this specific area here saying, you know, danger, quicksand, don't walk here? Well, that'd work today. Tomorrow, all this won't be quicksand, it'll move. Right. And it moves day in, day out by the tidal movement. So what could I possibly do to get out of this situation if you weren't here, George? Because I feel completely helpless. Well, the first thing you're going to do in the real situation is shout and scream and go mad. But yeah. uh, the book says, sit down, lie down. And if you sit down or lie down, all you're doing is making your footprint bigger for your weight. So it does work in certain circumstances where you can lie back and just let the uh, body float. Right. George, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. No, you're quite a way in, plus the fact it looks a fair thick mix of uh, quicksand that. God, it feels really solid. And, and there's nothing I can do, like, wiggling my legs or... If you, gonna... if you wiggle, you just go further in. I can really feel the pressure now. I mean, that feels like... Yeah, really yeah. solid. It, it does get to the stage where it stops the blood flow, so you don't want to be in there too long. Well, I'm stuck fast, and there's no way I'm getting out on my own. And to be honest with you, I'm starting to feel a bit uncomfortable about the whole situation. So if you wouldn't mind getting me out, George, that'd be marvellous. Although the Coast Guard team was here with me, I was scared stiff. To pull one leg free from this stuff requires the amount of force needed to lift a small car so I had no idea how they were going to get me out. They started to flood the sand around my legs with water whilst frantically digging away with their hands. I felt like I was stuck in concrete. Yeah, there we go. What about the other leg? Let's we'll get that we'll get it one at a time. After frantically working for 10 minutes, they finally freed one leg but my other was still wedged hard and I was starting to get tired. Such intense pressure on your legs can cause deep vein thrombosis. I'm only submerged to my hips. If you're unlucky enough to go down as far as your neck, then there's a good chance that the pressure on your chest could prevent you from breathing properly. And believe me, whilst all this is happening, the last thing you need is to be short of breath. Ah. All right? Oh. oh, cheers, boys. I can't, that is the most horrendous thing I've ever done in my life. So will you die if you get stuck in quicksand? If Tarzan isn't about and the Coast Guard's nowhere in sight, 
then I don't really fancy your chances. So tread carefully. 